Heat a skillet on medium heat. Add one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Add one tablespoon of chopped garlic. Add one tablespoon of minced ginger. Add half of a sliced purple onion. And saute until translucent, approximately five minutes. After the onions have sauteed for five minutes and are translucent, add your dry seasonings, which is gonna be one tablespoon of parsley and about a quarter of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. After adding the dry seasonings, add your seafood or plant-based protein. I'm using Beyond Beef, trying it out for the first time. It's pea protein. And you're gonna saute the protein for five minutes. After the protein has been sauteing for five minutes, add your vegetables. I've got acorn squash, which I roasted or baked last night. And so I have that for today. I'm gonna to add half an acorn squash. I have some mushrooms, some scallions, which I would have added earlier, but I didn't realize I had them. I would have added them with the onions. And I've got some bamboo shoots. So you're gonna saute the vegetables for two minutes. After sauteing the vegetables for two minutes, you add the liquid seasonings, which is gonna be half a cup of beef bone broth. I just took one packet of this low sodium beef bone broth, added half a cup of water. Add a quarter of a cup of red wine and add three tablespoons of coconut aminos or low sodium soy sauce. I determine how long to cover the vegetables by what vegetables I've got in there. I know the acorn squash is already cooked. The mushrooms take like just five minutes total and they've already been in there for two minutes. And then the bamboo shoots are already cooked. So I'm just gonna cover it for two minutes. The vegetables have been covered for two minutes. I'm gonna uncover. And I will continue to cook until I like the thickness of the sauce. See how when I part the vegetables, it rapidly fills up with liquid? I want that to be a slow fill, if at all. You see how when I part the vegetables, it takes a very long time to fill back up? That's the kind of thickness I'm talking about. Add salt and pepper to taste. It needs a moderate amount of salt. I buy all the ingredients ingredients low sodium and then add salt just as much as is needed which ensures i'm only going to have as much as i need transfer to a plate and serve voila dinner is served chinese stir fry of acorn squash and beyond beef pea protein